have been a lot of great animated comedies over the years, such as early stuff like The Flintstones to later ones like The Simpsons that will never end. Today I break down my top 10 on this episode of Cartoon Rama. That's a working title here on Guru Hub. Right out of the gates, this list is built on a foundation of lies. I have only seen a handful of Rick and Morty episodes, but what I did watch tickled my fancy quite a bit. And based on viewer feedback that I respect more than my own children, like these fine folks, this at least had to make the top 10 spot. To say Aqua Teen Hunger Force is stupid would be accurate, but it would also undercut the often clever and completely insane humor on display. Master Shake, Meat Wad, a floating box of fries with superpowers and a goatee make for the perfect meal. One that's not complete without a trashy neighbor named Carl to enjoy it. He's gonna melt your faces off! Dr. Venture and his stupid kids go on some of the coolest adventures on TV. It's full of danger, mystery, and a whole lot of laughs. Patrick Warburton once more steals most of the show as bodyguard Brock Samson, fighting off some of the most hilarious villains since Dr. Evil, with the monarch being my personal favorite. Being the slumlord king of Crapole County, my enemy's basking in his ivory f***ing tower! Stop motion Mario Kart in the vein of Grand Theft Auto is not something I immediately knew I needed in my life until I watched Robot Chicken. This show doubles down on the Family Guy pop culture jokes with great success. And the Star Wars specials continue to be something worth revisiting every single year. I have no friends. <laughs> uh, no friends? <laughs> you are hot as <laughs> When Family Guy creator Seth MacFarlane announced he was working on yet another animated comedy, I was a little leery at first. I thought he was stretching himself too thin and it would just be the same recycled humor from the previous show. While there is definitely a similar style to American Dad, this show is a far cry from a Me Too Family Guy. Archer feels like the Venture Brothers to me in the best way possible. The strong illustrations, the insanely stupid scenarios, the incompetent employees, moronic villains, and an impressive writing staff that's not afraid to shake things up keep the comedy fresh and funny. The show has a full package of offerings, and I myself like a full package. Phrasing. I, like most, caught Family Guy during its second coming on Adult Swim. That was a sentence. The humor and funny use of animation instantly hooked me. I still catch the show on occasion and get a laugh or two from the often focusless episodes, but the first four or five seasons were just magic. Sometimes I look to a show for some good insight and clever politics, and other times I just want to see a grown man fight a chicken for five minutes. <laughs> The Simpsons lost me as a viewer almost two decades ago, after around season 9 or 10. I believe they're coming up on the 30th season, easily the longest running show of all time at this point. Even when it loses old fans, it brings in brand new ones. There's no denying that shows like this and The Flintstones, it's not on my list, but I respect it, paved the way for animated adult comedies. And this one's still going strong. I put Futurama high up on my list for a multitude of reasons, which I will list now. It basically had two finales, showed on multiple networks, continued to put out consistently quality episodes, and wrapped up in a fantastic way for the fans. And it's another show created by Matt Groening. The guy knows how to build incredible concepts. It's also one of the rare cartoons that's not only funny, but also downright sad at times. That episode where Fry's dog Seymour waits outside that pizza place for his owner to return only to die of old age after years and years of nothing. It's heartbreaking. I mean, th there are no words. There are no barks either. <laughs> Matt Stone and Trey Parker are some of the funniest guys on the planet, and the proof is in the pudding. That pudding is South Park. The animation may appear simplistic, but the commentary on display is often right on the nose, and at times very profound. It's pretty amazing that a show featuring a talking towel, a magical shit, an obese kid who wants to wipe out all Jews, a man bear pig, satanic worshipping Christmas critters, Kanye West identifying as a gay fish, underpants gnomes, crab people, Rob Schneider as a carrot. Completely lost my train of thought. Oh yes, it's a smart show, damn it. And if you haven't given it a shot, jump in. Start around season four or five. That's when things really let loose.
Well, there you have it. The best animated comedies of all time. I refuse to believe anybody else has a better list than I do. But I'm willing to share a couple more thoughts on Twitter. Tony Roosevelt says, South Park slash Aqua Teen Hunger Force. CA currently goes with Teen Titans Go. I think that's a controversial pick. People were upset when Teen Titans changed its style or something. I don't know. The Aussie Hornet says, Archer, South Park, and Bojack. Thanks for watching Comedy Maniacs. It's a working title. It's based off Animaniacs. You get it. You're sharp. Thank you